have officially made it to Universal Studios. We are approaching the entrance and we have to have face masks on and we're going to do a temperature check to make sure that we are healthy and fit to go into the parks. So that is what we are doing at the moment. Is it ideally six feet or two meters between the travel party and others? Remember to wash your hands with soap and water often for at least 20 seconds. Temperature checks are required upon arrival. Guests with a temperature of 144 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 oh, degrees Celsius or greater will not be admitted. La siguiente información es importante para tu visita. De acuerdo a las recomendaciones de los entre tu grupo y demás personas, recuerda lavarte las manos separadamente con agua y jabón. We're officially through! Yay! Time for fun. Time to go find Hagrid. It does not look crowded at here, here at all. It is so quiet. On what we've walked through with the park so far I would say that it's like <laughs> I don't know 30% capacity like it is so quiet it's very lovely I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of the new Jurassic Park coaster You can now join the virtual line experience at Universal Studios for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. You would point your camera, scan that barcode, select the virtual line pass, select your ride time, and then you can explore the park and come back. Pretty cool. Larry's checking out the dragons. These are pretty cool, aren't they? Game of Thrones vibes. So I think we're standing outside in a line. We haven't made it into Hogsmeade yet, but we're waiting in line to ride Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. So I'll let you guys know how long the wait is once we get up to it. Sorry, that time is no longer available. So there's no times available? Okay, so we have to do the virtual line pass in, a, in order to ride Hagrid's, but I just picked both of these times. It's the only time showing, and it says both of them are not available. So, hi guys. So sorry to bother you. So I'm trying to book the virtual line, okay. and those are the only two slots showing that I can do, and it keeps saying that neither one of them are available. Like, so if I hit it, and then I hit reserve, I keep getting that. Okay, I, I guess maybe try to like refresh the page. I did. Already, you might have already gone away. Okay. Um, okay. Um, how many do you guys have? Just two. Just two? Okay, just come on in. Early. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you. So the very sweet girl in line, for, or not in line, but working the line for Hagrid, the virtual pass was not working at all. And she was so, so sweet and she let Larry and I come through. So thank you so much. I've officially made it in line for Hagrid. I'm switching over to my phone. We were not able to see a wait time posted, so we have no idea how long this line actually is. But it's worth it. <laughs> Always worth it. Right, babe? That's right.
grids and for the first time ever i think it just stopped and broke down there's a bunch of trains just stopped on the car hi <laughs> so uh yeah that's a first but uh we've got the ford anglia over there and we have just stopped on the track good good to know the brakes work because there was other cars in front of us that were completely stopped we're going the wrong way We are now on the Hogwarts Express and it looks like because of new, what do you call that, rules, regulations, safety procedures, we do get a whole Hogwarts Express cabin to ourselves. Outside. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye bye. This whole area is usually packed. Hey, Mary, what's happening, man? How are you? Oh, you know, I'm just hanging around. <laughs> just trying to get ahead. Trying to look at Larry, man. Trying to throw me under the bus. Come on, oh, brother. Man. So, where are you visiting from, Larry? London. No, we're local. Yeah, London. You're in London, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, man, Larry, man, that's what happens when you operate so much. You have no idea where you are, man. Okay, so have we seen... Who, who's this over here? That's Mindy. What is it? Mindy. Mindy, what's happening? Nothing. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm waiting on the driver. I can't believe that man hasn't showed up yet. Disappeared. Yeah, man, well, I was supposed to be... Picking up wizards and witches, traveling all around, and right now I can't go anywhere. Oh no. Yeah. You know, without the driver, the bus is like an envelope. Uh. It's stationary. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, did you hear that one? I heard that one. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So where are we up to now? What's the plan? That's very specific, man. <laughs> Apple hit Hey, man, you're not into the dark arts, are you? Uh, not as far as you know. Ooh, this guy's a secret death eater, I think, man. <laughs> bye. Hey, bye bye. Only time you're allowed to not wear a mask at Universal is if you're eating. So, I'm eating a yummy caramel apple that I purchased at Honey Dukes. Now I am sitting in front of number 12 from Walt Place eating my apple. now headed into Diagon Alley. Guys, this is the emptiest I have ever seen Diagon Alley, ever.
Mothers might describe the journey to the vaults as a high-speed roller coaster ride. Time, stopping and guiding. Even some in the magical community find the ride a bit challenging. Listen carefully to the following safety information. Expectant mothers and individuals with heart, neck, or back conditions or abnormal blood Also, no elevator experience at Green Gods. So instead of you picking up your own 3D glasses, they hand them to you. So we just got off of Green Gods. Now we're headed into Borgen and Burks. Green Gods was a lot of fun. We enjoy it. Yeah, it's awesome. So Larry and I are gonna head over to the Chocolate Emporium for lunch. Park is open today from nine to six. Nine to six. Yeah, which is pretty early for summer hours. I'm pretty sure they probably did that because of everything that's going on, but it's a beautiful day. Over here in this corner, they usually put Christmas trees up and I'm ready. <laughs> It's like walking through a deserted city. <laughs> a deserted Universal Studios. Oh, it's closed. Larry and I love doing the wall climbing here. Here's a cute little tea room. I've never noticed or seen this before. So here's where the tea room is. I've never noticed it. favorite rides at Universal. So we have heard that Universal Studios has some pretty cool masks, so Larry and I are headed into the Universal Studios store and we're gonna see what masks they have and what other goodies that they might have that are new. I was just having fun. Hello. We're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the fake Hollywood right in front of the Brown Derby. I know. We've been doing like photo shoots. This is the perfect time to do photos because it's not crowded. And you guys know if you come to Universal when times are normal, it's packed. Kind of all smashed in here like sardines, let's be honest. Oh, this is cool. I love this. 
$50 for this black neon Universal Studios crew neck. Perfect picture opportunity in front of the Universal Studios ball, so we're gonna do that. If you guys wanna see both parks, Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley, you have to get the park to park pass to experience both worlds. Okay, so the Chocolate Emporium does not open till 4 p.m., so we're walking back towards Diagon Alley, and we're gonna eat at Lombard Seafood Restaurant, which is also really good. Larry and I just purchased face masks at Universal Studios. I got one plain black one, and then we got two of the white and black Universal Studios masks, which are pretty cool, because you can reuse them, rewash them, all as well, $6. So the universal cloth masks are like 10 times more comfortable than the blue disposable ones. We just switched over. We did get to the restaurant, so we're just kind of waiting to be called and seated. So at the restaurants, they give you a baggie to put your face mask in so that you can order and eat food without wearing a mask. That would be quite difficult. <laughs> so we're going to chuck those in there and order. Thanks, babe. So we get to keep the menus. I'm gonna show you guys what we picked out. The menus are definitely condensed. I remember um, there being many more options, but. Um, so you have these appetizers to choose from. You have two salads to choose from, four different entrees, and three different sandwiches. I went with the plant-based penne, and Larry went with the wharf burger with french fries. And then on the back, we have all sorts of beverages. We have wine, white, red, non-alcoholic drinks, which right now it's so toasty and sunny. A frozen lemonade sounded really good, but I have not ordered it yet. Then we have cocktails and beer, but Larry and I just went with lime and water and regular water because we need to hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate. I don't have a funky tan line yet, I don't think. <laughs> Here is the plant-based pasta, which smells incredible. There's Larry's burger and fries. So I just checked to see if the virtual line pass was working for Hagrid's, and I was just successfully able to book a 3.30 to 4 p.m. virtual line pass for Larry and I, and it is currently 2.25. So success that time. Sorry, 
trying to deep breath and breathe. <laughs> I will say that Universal Studios has done an amazing job. They're keeping everybody separated. Staff is walking around with hand sanitizer to pump it into your hands before you go on attractions or walk into restaurants. They're making sure everybody is wearing their mask. A lot of people I've seen try to pull it down for even a second. And they're like, no, 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 make sure you pull your mask over your nose, over your nose. Not only are they, are they giving you hand sanitizer that the staff is going around providing it, they also have non-contact stations where you can put your hand in and it'll dispense it onto your hand so you can get it when you're not by people either. Exactly. So Larry and I have had a great time. We personally think it is worth it. So that's that's what I'm going to say. But again, it is your decision. And um, do what is best for you and your family no matter what. So Larry and I just got off of Hagrid's. It was literally a 10 minute wait. That is it. It's beautiful. Now we're heading over to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Oh, they're having us go through here. Interesting. Look at this. To get to the lockers, we can now go underneath the bridge. And then there is a line. The Basilisk. The next great witch or wizard could be walking through this room right now. No way, they're hidden towers. It's me! Just love you, man. Long time. The boy who is there. Hello, guests. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Fine witches and wizards. Emma's told me a fine self listening to Professor Bing's go on about. History of Hogwarts. Well, it should be pointed out, it's rather fascinating. One book I highly recommend, which is an absolutely riveting read, is The Field of Bagshaws, a whole Um, perhaps one at a time. Did? Yeah. But to get you there, we have to sneak you out the castle. Which is where the mine comes in. All you have to do is meet me in the room of requirement. From there, I'll fly down to Quidditch pitch. Of course, we'll need a bit of magic. I'd really rather see for myself. <laughs> Come on, you fine. Don't tell it, Danny. Mm -hmm. Ah, grab on your watch. Thank you. My name is Mike Green. Staff just pumped hand sanitizer into my hands. Just rubbed in my sanitizer, and here is the sorting hat. Sherbert's lemon. So the staff is doing an amazing job with hand sanitizer and sanitizing our hands for us. We just left the ride and I brought my own. Larry has his own too, but it's always good to bring your own. And this is what we're using. It smells great. See you then as well. Yep, we're prepared. Across from Hogwarts, we have the new Jurassic Park coaster that is being built. It looks incredible. here. I hope you found it fun, exciting, helpful, especially if you're missing the parks. And again, it was amazing. They did an amazing job at keeping the parks clean, keeping everybody apart, making sure everybody was wearing their masks. Turning rides down, making rides yeah. down. When we got off of the last roller coaster, what was it called? I'm so hot. The, uh... Forbidden Journey. Yeah. They were letting the rides go by because they were spraying them and sanitizing them down. So they're doing an amazing job. And if you feel safe and want to go, definitely go. The parks are open, so you are allowed to go. And uh, just make the decision and whatever you guys think is right. Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to end this here. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. It's probably a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I filmed a lot. Uh, so if you enjoyed it, 
give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye! Bye. I want to insert this little clip before the vlog actually ends, or maybe I'll add it at the end. I'm not really sure where I'm going to add it. But I'm looking at my Instagram messages, and I noticed a lot of people asked how it was with the masks, and I didn't really get to go into that because some people were saying I couldn't imagine wearing a mask in the Florida heat. How was it? How did you do with it? So first of all, the disposable mask that we were wearing, I think it was much harder to breathe in than the cotton mask. Larry, what do you think? Yeah, I would agree. Once we found the, the masks that Universal was selling with the design on it, the material cloth ones, yeah. that was a lot easier, a lot more comfortable. Yeah, a lot easier to breathe in, but I noticed I sweat around my mouth more with the cotton mask from Universal. So I did notice that, which was strange. And then the other thing was, I want to point out that our weather today in Florida, I oh, I picked this day to come because we needed a trip. But the reason I picked this day was because it was going to be 90 in Florida, which is hot. But our humidity was only at 55%. I honestly have to admit, I could not imagine going to Universal when it was 90 degrees with 80 to 90% humidity. I think that that might be a bit much. Larry thinks I'm whining, but you agreed with me when we were there. It would be hard to breathe. It really would. No, if we had the cloth mask the whole time. You do sweat inside that cloth mask though. I mean, yeah. the point is, is that it's a luxury and we're very lucky that we even get to go with times the way they are. So I don't want to, I don't want it to come off as like I'm complaining about wearing a mask. I'm totally not complaining. But I do want to let you guys know that I think that it would be a little bit difficult uh, just to breathe <laughs> in a mask with 90% humidity and, and 90 degree heat. That's all. In the fall, however, and in the winter when it's nice and chilly, no problem. No problem. But I will say it was interesting, but 100% worth it. They were really very good with making announcements and, and having staff members go around and reminding people that they have to wear their mask and the mask has yeah. to cover their nose and their mouth. They did a very good job. They had a lot of science marking uh, the six foot distance and the two meters apart, side to side, and six foot from front to back. Yeah. And they had signs that, that uh, highlighted restrooms where you could go in and wash your hands. They had hand sanitizer stations to no contact ones. So I just wanted to come on here and add that about the mask, but overall it was a great experience. I would recommend it for us, but then again, remember, I don't want to sit here and tell you guys, yeah, I 100% recommend it. Go do it. You should do it. That's not my decision. That's your decision. So. And I think waiting in line to get your temperature taken probably added less than a minute to the whole entry experience. Yeah, 100%. In the gift shop, I did notice they did have bottles of hand sanitizer in a small travel size. Yeah. It's like universal line with a clip and you can put it on a belt or a loop. And I think they wanted three bucks for it. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that too. That was next to the mess. So anyways, guys, wanted to add that, let you guys know that's how it was. I hope you guys enjoyed it and love you guys and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.